All right, guys, I am in Gambla Stone. It's very crowded. Temperature, I think, is here is about 20, 26 plus Celsius. And as I told you, I'm gonna show you now some of the stores that you should avoid here because they are overpriced and you're gonna get what we call cream scrums. It's very crowded now, so it's gonna be very loud, as you know, guys, all right? But I'm gonna make sure to put it in. All right. As you can see on the entrance here, very unique I was here earlier today I don't think these guys are here anymore but they do this you have seen this probably in New York in Paris they even have that in California where you have these four or five guys they stand around in a corner when there's no guards or police and they want you to bet Get some money with this little tree pack they got and they got a little rock or or bullet or what they call it we call it in, in Swedish it's called kula they were standing here oh, they were right there I'm just gonna pass through I'm gonna pass through very quiet and I try to make that much noise okay that was exactly what I was talking about before. I saw them earlier here. This is very, very normal to see in these cities. But I saw that when I was in Australia too. In Sydney they have, even in Sydney, they see this stuff. But it's very dirty tricks. Remember, you can win on those games. It's impossible. Look at this, it's beautiful here. That's something normally to see here. In Gamla Stan. Now, when I talk to you about this thing, guys, it's like stores like this example. See this? We have a lot of these stores here. And the problem with this is most of the stuff is not like the best quality. And worse, if you want to pay for electronics here. Believe me when I say this, you do not want to pay your electronics in, or buy electronics in these places. Because it's probably used, refurbished, and it's overpriced. So, most of this stores are closed now uh, being closed I don't know but the problem is that you see here example it says sale but what is the sale I mean you're gonna go inside it's gonna be sale what's gonna be sale some refrigerant magnet you know for like 100 Swedish kron I want to say that is cheap Hey, I mean, look at this. You got electronics here. This is not a place you want to buy electronics. Because you're going to go home, I don't know, to Germany or Italy or United States or wherever, and you're going to open your package. More electronics. As I said, you're going to go home, and you're going to open your package. You're going to notice it doesn't work or it doesn't have batteries and stuff like that. I mean, you're gonna call all the way here, say, hey, man, I wanna refund. I want my money back. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a business. That's what the answer you're gonna get. So do not buy electronics here, guys. Go to Oli and Sor Enco, or we have this huge uh, company here, El Giganten, Media Mark, those kind of stuff. Don't buy electronics here. Okay, it's gonna be very, very crowded here now. Very crowded, very loud here too. I think to the evening is gonna be very, very full packed here. 
It was this good restaurant I was here before eating. I think it's called House Burger. Right. It's more forward. Yeah. Espresso House. This company are everywhere. Everywhere here in Sweden. Here I ate before, earlier today. It's very good. They have good burgers, good salad. It's a very good place. Very worth it. Salad, it costs about 14 bucks. I would say it's still cheap compared to other places. The other places are more expensive. So. It's like churros here. I don't know why they like churros so much here. They have a lot of churros everywhere here. There's bracelets, there's like necklace, all kind of stuff here. And a lot of coffee shop. There's so many customers now, they have to be outside. I don't know how it is in the rest of Europe. I haven't traveled yet, but there's very much tourists here. There's so much tourists. The majority, I think, that are here visiting are from other countries in Europe. I hear a lot of East Europeans here. Normally in the summers it comes a lot of people from Germany here, but I haven't heard any Germans yet. More souvenir store with electronics. <laughs> Here's some creepy guy. I mean, I think this is Italian. I don't know about these Italian restaurants. I've been in Italy and it's different down there. Food is better down there in Italy, but it's more expensive. You will definitely find it cheaper here than what is in down in Rome. More Italian, I think. No, this is Swedish. This is Swedish. Some stores, too many stores are closed too. Not because if it's really COVID or because they are, they are a business or they can't find people. What do we have here? Oh, this is the tight street here. This is a very tight street. We're not gonna get up there. It's too, too crowded there, but you can see here it's very, it's very tight. A lot of graffiti. They have done a lot of movies here. They did a lot of movies here. Swedish, of course. Swedish TV shows. It smells disgusting here, but I want to go out. <laughs> Sorry. It smells like piss down in there. Oh, we're going go forward there. I'm gonna go forward, I don't know what more this is about to see there, but... It was for like five years ago, but I never went forward here to see what it was. And see here what it is. Or is it part of the harbor here? There too. Be careful. It smells like bread, fresh bread or cinnamon bun. They do it fresh here.
backyard too. here during the evening it's gonna be very crowded and loudy the business here I think this place was crowded last time I was here a couple of years ago love these kind of houses this is this is a typical tradition traditional houses here or apartments here is Stockholm the central in Gamla Stan forward and see what is over there. Eastern European. I hear a lot of people from East Europe here. I think there are many people from Poland or I don't know, Russians maybe, I don't know, from Ukraine. a very good place to have coffee or gelato during this seasons here it's very quiet very calm remember that I walked at this floor last time I was here but no, no, I went here There's more restaurants here
so many alleys. Very tight ones. I know where I am now. It's, yeah, it's over there. The Rik Riksdagen, we call it. Yeah. I know where I am. Yeah, I, I'm back here where I started. <laughs> On the other side, the other side. Okay. Let's so get it up there. Take a shot of that. It's weird parkings here. This is something that every tourist that comes to Sweden should know that you're coming to Stockholm, don't rent a car, you don't need that. There's enough good public transportation here, so you don't need to rent some car. So we can get a good picture of it there. Here. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop here. My arm is getting tired. I hope you like the video and the information I'm giving you about Gamla Stan. So watch out for the dirty little tricks there and those traps. Okay. I'm gonna finish here with here. Okay guys, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Good eye.